He was he was talking back and forth. There was some some thought going on. There. No, listen. Uh, you know I heard a lot of players getting their apples reviewed this tournament, and honestly, apple reviewer and yeast make me a believer in that character. Oh, but that already, insane. Ling starting out with a 45, 53% combo, just straight out of the gate. Honestly, after watching so many zoners, this might be kind of a, a refreshing, fresh air, at least for me, because I love 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 fast gameplay. And while we might see it, right, Rob's very capable of slowing that pace down with his laser, with his gyro. Peach as well. Ling not opposed to taking a lead, especially on a stage like PS2 with these high plats, that large stage size, and just float camp. You force those commitments out. So both players are very capable of playing fast, but it's not impossible that they just want to slow things down and camp it out if it comes down to that. Right now, though, Lyric, I mean, these players are going back and forth, swinging like nobody's business. I love how safe both of them are playing, too. I mean, Rob has some really, really safe aerials. So does Peach, finding the landing nair here, as it is going to be Ling lining up for the first fair. Let's see how Josh is going to get back on And stage. that fair was so smart. He threw the turnip off the gyro. Oh, oh, and then kind of used, used Josh and, and item catch to then punish with the fair. It just put you in a train trap, trap checkmate scenario. Fine in the back air just to maintain stage control. And now this is laying at the ledge. It's his bread and butter, but Rob's rotor arm up air covers him all the way through the stage. And Link just wasn't ready for it. No, but there's the up smash. So we're still getting a little bit of usage out of the rage as well. I love how Ling just kind of waits. A lot of the times I feel like players telepath what they're trying to edge guard you with. And honestly, just standing there and waiting is the best way to go. And here comes Joshathan already getting a lot of extra credit here. Ling already at 56% going for the turn up toss. But I love the way that Joshathan was so confident saying, you know what? Yeah, let me just throw in an air dodge for a little bit of style too. Yep, and I mean, Ling, while Ling is a traveler, or, or right, goes and grinds like nobody's business, gets out to everything, we really only have one Rob in CT, Heinous, very good player in his own right, but certainly not anywhere near the level of Rob we're seeing out here from Joshathan Gamer. So, you know, maybe neither of these players have experience with this, as much experience with this character at this level. Oh, well, going back and forth right now, I think whoever can find, if you can find the second stock, up. Uh, without keeping it a dead even scrap, I think you're going to pull away with this game because it can be so hard for the other person to come back once you've established stage control. Absolutely. John, though, trying to find some more hits with the gyro here. Honestly, all of this chip damage is going to work out in his favor, stitch. but there's the stitch. And, that's and honestly, Ling wouldn't be a peach man if he didn't at least pull a couple stitches per game. And honestly, I love the way that he's holding on to it, too. And we've Still, seen three oh so far no top way. eight. And that's 83 with the dropped combo. That would have been death had he not. Now it's Peach with gyro combo time. Not going to find its mark. Josh then forced to hold shield. But the float cancel allowing you to just mix up that momentum, right? Punish the up smash with such a good anti air against most of the cast. And Josh then finally getting down 126% later. Oh, that's so rough if you're John. John had such good, like, mental fortitude going into that. And then honestly, just taking a three hits of the stitch and a couple of areas in between kind of threw that momentum to the wayside here there's the down throw but unfortunately ling ready to go just to find a way out of it there's the first forward air not phased at all has turn up in hand it is going to connect and hit john here good air dodge down by josh then honestly these air dodges to ledge have been really good ling has not been able to punish them just yet but honestly finding the up tilt up there gonna be able to at least bring this down to last stock but a forward air might I, just do it hey yeah. look a forward air that just kind of did it are you are you Man, when they say you really are the heart and soul of Philly, I didn't realize that you were a high of mine. That was some seriously impressive stuff, Lyric. <laughs> I loved that float back to platform from Ling, even though it ended up getting him caught out here. Right, He landed, he tried to get away, but unfortunately just got caught a little bit. Looked like he was maybe trying to find a plat drop, got caught by that up tilt instead and just couldn't get away. That being said, you come off that angel platform with that, those iframes, your opponent puts himself in the corner. You literally cannot contest a character in that situation. Right. Regardless, though, good game one, I think, from Joshathan. Mm -hmm. I think when it comes to the mental fortitude of this player, John has continued oh. to grow, grow, grow. But after getting hit by so much stitch face when you were so far in the lead, uh, John might be a little uh, thrown off after that. Look at what stage he just took us to. He took us to... Final destination versus Hold. Peach. Yeah, versus that's what I'm saying. Versus Peach. Hold on. Like maybe you're a little scared of her juggling you on Hollow Bastion. Ling very good on that stage, right? The bands of Small Battlefield, Ill Battlefield, and Smashville I mean you don't really get that small stage space, but. 
but you know, there's not a great option here. Maybe you think with those the lack of platforms, you can make something happen, but this is Ling's the combo peach. You don't want to give him this space uninterrupted to just saucy with. Absolutely. John, though, fighting back as best as possible, still stuck off ledge. Going to be able to throw the gyro, but that gives Ling the green light to find the Nair here. Still looking so confident as ever. No sweat so far. Good air dodge, and still, Ling has not been able to punish a lot of these Josh and Gamer air dodges, but still ever so much in the lead. And oh. the miss tech, not going to do it just yet, Lyric. It, that burner boost gonna allow Rob back to stage. It, Ling just playing it patient. Love the fast fall into that shield, right? Just dealing with the laser, managing to just find that pressure with a backer as well to close out the stock. And this one's starting to get a little bit away from Jonathan. He needs to find percent, close out the stock fast. He just hasn't been able to win neutral against Ling at all this game yet. Going around the world to the other side of the stage, trying to get the rotor arms, but Ling ready with the dash attack here. Finally, Josh then going to be able to at least grab the turn and throw it back. Up tilt, good air dodge out by Ling, and now Ling still just so comfortable. 103, going to be able to even hit the Peach Bomber and the turn up too. Gyro still stuck on stage. Jonathan having such a hard time of getting out of the corner, and this is what Ling does best, reading exactly where you want to go. Finds the short hop Nair as well. Jonathan, no answers to be found as Ling just throwing on a very textbook showcase of how to edge guard with Peach. Yeah, and, and those ledge traps, right? He's just sitting there playing kind of in an ambiguous space with that short hop float, land reset Ooh. the situation, but gonna get reset on his own percent, sent down to the blast zone. Josh then at least getting on the board, but Lyric, it's just, Ling has just been reacting and calling out every single thing, just smothering Jonathan so far. He needs to find a reversal and he needs to find a fast. Rob's certainly capable of doing so, but can he find it here? I was just about to say, I mean, the punish on the rotor arms could have led to a ton of damage, but here comes Josh then. Short hop fair into the F tilt to at least alleviate some pressure here. But now here comes Ling, the nair into the grab back air. Just the old reliable forward air is going to connect as well. Jonathan on the verge of losing the second game if he's unable to restabilize the center stage. Looks like Ling is just taking him coast to coast. The forward air is going to seal that second game. So now Jonathan needs to dig deep as Philly calls out to their boy and that forward air from Ling so smart with that turn up in hand as well there because as if you drift in as Jonathan you get caught by that forward air and die if you drift back you avoid the forward air but then you get caught by that turn up after the fact which resets the situation if you go low right he can Z drop it or down throw it which combos in an air which kills if you get it forward, it just puts you back further off and allows Peach to completely reset the situation. And he just kind of got caught between a rock and a hard place. And again, Ling's ledge traps on reaction at ledge, some of the best in the world. So hard to get away. And we're just seeing Jonathan just try and go back to PS2 as he desperately tries to find an answer here to this Peach. Once again, we're going to what's comfortable here. Jonathan going to be able to find the throw into the forward air, unable to find the second dunk as now Ling just showcasing once again what a master he's been at Peach for years. It's not just Ultimate, it's also Smash 4. A little bit of Brawl too when you really think about it. Ling has been around for a long yeah, time. That being said, he was a DDD in Brawl, so that's his sole main. We've seen him come out earlier in Bracket, though it didn't quite work out, Lyric. That being said, the Peach is cooking this time around. The Peach Bomber to take that stage control away. Jonathan's going to get back, but Ling also ready. Able to oh, continue the nah. situation. And the Parasol, Ling going up, going out, floating back down gracefully. He is feeling himself right now. Ooh, okay. I like the punish on the Peach Bomber with the up smash as well. Up tilt into the party time. And that is going to be at least John evening things up. You can hear Philly try and cheer on their boy. Once again, John is the type a player that can tilt and especially versus Ling who puts on such a punish game here. It's so hard to keep your composure sometimes. There's the falling back air coming out from Ling as now Jonathan still stuck off stage here. I love the rollback in ritual saying, you know yeah. what, I recognize that I can't win on the ledge. Let me just try and reset neutral and win again. And Jonathan finding his way through those two float cancel nares as well was very impressive stuff. Ling is kind of get caught, getting caught swinging and Jonathan able to get away but isn't finding the punishes on those kind of consistent one, two, three missed swings from Ling, and it's giving Ling more situations to reset. So even even though Jonathan's defense is getting better, he's making the adjustments, he's not able to find the punishes for it, and he's giving Ling those extra chances, and so it's just amounting to nothing. There's a dash attack from Ling, as now Jonathan trying to just get back 
onto stage. Ling gonna be able to bait the shield drop into the forward air here. Josh Lin potentially on his last stock. I know he doesn't want to end it there, but I cannot believe that just clanked. I, yeah, ultimate's weird sometimes, and that that should not. <laughs> that should, I'm, a, I'm from CT. Ling should be down to his last stock right now. I'll say it. <laughs> That's unfortunate for John, but honestly, not out just yet here. Gonna be able to get a couple hits here. Looking for the gyro toss into the forward air to send Ling off. It's just not there, but instead we're gonna get a down smash. Not gonna be enough to take it. So now here comes Ling. Peach Bomber, it's not going to be punished as John just trying to find the rotor arms. You saw the startup of it, but Ling just too quick with it. And now with a gyro in hand, I mean, John has to go in and fight the neutral here, finding a couple forward airs, and now Ling off the side of the stage, it's still just not and dying just Ling yet. Ling is one of the best in the world at finding these wiggles to get the, to get the mix and find a way back. It works momentarily, but Josh is then managing to find that second up air, close it out, keep this in a last stock situation, put himself in the position to potentially get on the board, but you have to take the stage of control away from Ling, away from Mikasa, and you're just not able to bring this percent lead back. He's getting the hits, finally a neutral, but it feels like every time he does, Ling is answering right back, keeping that gap the same, and Jocelyn needs to find a break here soon. I'm loving the way that Josh Thin's playing, recognizing, you know what, I can't beat you in the hand-to-hand one-on-one, but let me just back up and throw the projectiles that I have to try and find an opening in. There's the double forward air as trying to line up for a down tilt, potentially punish, but there we go, down getting throw. the grab up, up tilt, up air, but not going to find it, unfortunate. It was There's the punish, too. Back throw is going to be the option. It has the dot eyes as well. Things are looking a little bit precarious for Josh Thin Gamer. First hit potentially could be it with the second Ling just throwing out every option that he has but Josh then gonna be able to stabilize and falling down with that fair right the slight drift back we've barely seen Josh then use that to land just mixing up the spacing enough oh, in combination with the platform where he's able to get back down give himself one last lease on life finding the up smash gonna put himself on the board saying and I have been on the run of a lifetime I am not letting it end here without a fight lyric incredible stuff from him to maintain that mental composure answer back here and bring us to a 2-1 heading into game four just really good stuff from him yeah. all the way around i i think just recognizing you know what you're not going to win in the head-to-head -head, so let me just back up wait for you to come to me and then punish it's working out really well we got game number four here if we're going along the trends um all of Losers' quarters have been 3-1. So by the data, Ling is projected to win this. We are going to Battlefield, though. It's going to be the first time that we actually see Battlefield with the top flat. And this is really interesting. A lot of Peach is, think this is Peach's worst state. Ling thinks differently because his thoughts on this are, OK, so yeah, it isn't great. But if you put yourself on the top flat to get away from me, well, you're also above Peach. And eventually, you're going to have to make a mistake. And then I'm going to juggle you. And if I play this patient, if you're going to slow it down and camp me out, I'm going to do the same thing here. And eventually, you're going to have to come down. And that's when I'm going to capitalize. Joshathan stuck on the ledge here right now, finds the Nair, and now Ling just constantly landing with a barrage of aerials. The gyro is also going to connect. Good catch by Joshathan, though. Still just trying to fight back, but still, you have been stuck on the ledge versus Ling for too long. Down tilt, going for the grab. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, Ling getting a little bit too crazy there, and that's just an easy punish for Rob. Absolutely, the Nair into the gyro, looking for a double toss, but not able to find the full extension, allowing Ling the opportunity to reset by the gyro, gonna allow out Jonathan to get back. The second one, that zoning capability, trying to let him get out of the corner. He does just for a second, but that Peach back air gonna allow Ling to just keep this one closed. Beautiful job with the patience, and the frying pan gonna send you off the top lyric. Like, this one is close, Ooh. this one is even, but right now, it. Who can find this break? Who can I, find the second stop? Honestly, Josh has been mixing it up with the burner boost as well. So now we're getting a little bit tricky here. I, I mean, Ling bringing it back so extremely well, finds the down air, and now Joshathan still has stuck on the ledge. I feel like I've, you know, I look away for a quick second and I look back and John is still stuck on the left side of the stage. I've never seen John in advantage so far. And we're seeing Ling to right, just play a very, very close to Rob. Right, get in, smother him with these He's floating down airs with the these turnips. Very, very close. Another stitch face, not gonna find its mark. Just because us 
right, Jonathan was fighting so much with that laser that if you're just right in his face, you can't get it out. You're going to get hit in the startup for it. Ooh, okay, John trying to punish, but it's not going to be enough. Back air from Ling here might set him up for success on the second stock. There's the down throw on the turn up. Still plenty of gas left in the tank here for Jonathan. The forward throw, though, will take it as now Jonathan and Philly's last hope is going to be on this last stock. Absolutely, the down throw, Bling maybe try to find something early, but not with a full set of gas in the tank. No jerry can needed right now. Ling with the gyro, this could get scary. Just the Peach Bomber trying to get away. Where are you the situation. going? <laughs> and a rare SD from Ling, and going to give Jonathan a way right back into this one, Lyric, free of charge. 78% oh, of that window's closing. Nah. Ling says, hold on, <laughs> hold on, guys. You might have thought, you might have thought, but you forget who you're dealing with. This is my state, right? The only time I have not been number one in CT has been for most of Ultimate. I was number one in Smash 4. I'm number one again this season. You're forgetting who you're dealing with. I'm going to come back, and I'm going to close this one out. Really rough stuff for Josh then, but I, I know he's not going to be too happy about that, but I what an absolute run, beating so many amazing players in New England. I mean, you have Sharp, G-Extreme, Kiwi. The I know going 06 in like top mm -hmm. eight is a real bummer. And Sharp is crazy run. too, because Sharp plays a lot of Robs, right? We've got them in Mass, we've got them in Rhode Island, and 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 which is where Sharp is playing most of his games. He has a lot of practice. So the fact that Jonathan was able to take that 2-1, incredibly impressive win on a alt-ranked player. You know where else you can find Rob? Defend the North, July 14th through 16th. You can scan the QR code to go register now. Start.gg slash DTN 2023. If you like Ultimate, if you like fighting games, if you like Rob, go see Zomba at Defend the North. And uh, maybe you can catch some of us on the mic there. Caster apps are live if you're interested. Fill it on out. out. You know what else you can check out if you like fantastic things? House of 3000 and the premier production crew for Smash Bros. Ultimate and one of the best groups in esports in general. Oh, you saw them at Collision last week. You're seeing them do all of this wonderful stuff here today. And right now, they need your help. Please tweet out hashtag free HO3K. The Get them the their slide. Twitter back. I know. I can't Get it it's back. In the slide. Get hashtag it back. Free save, save house. Help. Save them. Retweet the link, guys. Got it. Do it. Regardless, though, I just want to give a big shout out to Fisher College as well. I think uh, something that colleges are finally finding value in is esports. Look at all of the scholarships you can get. I know Kiwi and Sauce, really amazing players, are actually going to Fisher, Fisher College on scholarships, which is insane. You can fill out an interest form on the QR code. You can also visit their booth. But look at all the esports that they work yeah. in. I mean, Hearthstone, I have not seen competitive and, Hearthstone for a long time. And not only does, right, do the, does a college kind of, right, give you a, a something else outside of Smash to work for, it's right, get your degree, folks. But it also, I know Kiwi has said, Going to college has helped her play better, focus on the game better, because it's not all she has. She's not as stressed about just Smash. She has something else outside of it to focus on and to kind of use as a stress outlet. But speaking of outside of Smash lyric, that's where we're about to be pretty soon because, well, that was our last set. It's a really fun one. What a, what a way. I mean, we had tons of character diversity here. We had Steve's, we had Snake's, we had Wee Fits, we had Shulk, uh, we had Light, we had Jackal, and we have plenty of more things to go. Ritual, shout yourself out. You did great. Oh, thanks, Lyric. I mean, you did amazing too, as always. One of the best in the business. Hire her. Hire her. She deserves it. Do it. Um, but you can find me on Twitter at Ritual SSB or on my podcast I host with the Two pools casters you saw earlier, Snivy and Waffle, as well as the TO Gerd at uh, Casters on the Block, which is at Cast on the Block on Twitter. Check us out. We had a new episode go up this morning. And Lyric, where can they find you? Here. At on Lyric all of platforms. Wisdom. Do it. Uh, follow, follow Lyric. She's do great. Do it. Um, but make sure you guys give tons of love to the next casters that are coming up. AG and Ajax, two years in a row on the, the top four. They are the best. I love them both very, Absolutely. very much. And the, I cannot wait to see them the kill kings it. kings of CT casting for a reason. 
and could not have asked for any better people to learn from getting into casting here in this lovely state to call home. It's been an absolute honor and a privilege to bring you the first half of GamerCon Top 8, folks. Until next time. Game Underground in Waltham is more than just a video game store. Hunt for the perfect retro game to add to your collection or trade in towards the latest releases. Rent a screen to try something new or book a party to reserve them for your friends. Play in our arcade of classic cabinets, redemption machines, and rare imported games. Join in weekly events for Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Smash Bros, or your favorite fighting game. There's a community for every gamer at Game Underground.